Greetings from the Fertile Current. Today we're going to install a CW3 model paramagnetic electroculture antenna. The CW3 model is designed specifically for use in a compost pile. It attaches to a copper ground rod which can be purchased at any hardware store for around $25. You want to drive the copper rod all the way down until it makes contact with the ground below and you can feel it because it will change texture. You really want to pound this Ross clot in. Here I'm using an inexpensive technique to mount the antenna and insulate it to avoid bleed off from the antenna directly into the ground rod. I'm going to use gray PVC instead of white PVC because it does not photodegrade at the rate that the white PVC does. You want to use a diameter of PVC that is slightly larger than the ground rod so it will slip over. I'm putting a cap on the PVC to make a basically just a, a larger cap or sleeve that will slip over the 5 8 ground rod. Should slip right over and be a tight fit without being hard to get on. Here's the CW3 antenna. It features a larger diameter body, a one inch diameter. Uh, it holds more basalt paramagnetic rock in the body core, larger magnets, brass telluric collection rod, voltaic stack, thermocouple, and on this model there are two tensor rods on the top. One is twisted in a clockwise pattern and one is in an anti-clockwise pattern. They are the same length, although they are offset as they come out of the antenna body but internally they are the same length of three-quarter cubit. I'm just using zip ties to fasten the copper antenna body to the gray PVC conduit. This is an inexpensive way to mount this antenna. There are many options. Tightening the zip ties. Cut off the excess. Here you can see the entire unit will slip over the ground rod. I'm just checking orientation with a compass to see about how I'm going to want to orientate the um, antenna once it's installed. And we'll do a more specific orientation once it's on the rod. Forget to put your, your connection bolt for the wire on first. Don't get carried away like me. Slip it over. The whole unit should fit nicely. Make sure your zip ties are tight. Make sure everything's on there correctly. You can kind of pre-fit the attachment uh, hardware. We'll attach the 8 gauge wire coming out of the bottom of the antenna body directly to the ground rod. And notice that the body of the antenna is insulated from the rod and only the wire is directly connected very tightly. These hardware um, connection pieces are available where the ground rods are sold. Just make sure if you get a 5 8 ground rod that you get a 5 8 connector wire clamp. Cut off the extra wire and now I'm going to more specifically orientate my brass telluric collection rod to exactly magnetic south. This is very critical in the function of the apparatus. For good measure I'm adding a Lakovsky ring. The gap in the Lakovsky ring will face magnetic north. It's exactly the opposite of the brass telluric collection rod. Here are a few still photos of the finished installation. This antenna model will enliven the minerals and help with the transmutation of minerals in the compost as it ages and sits before application.
Thank you. I hope you find this helpful. Many blessings.